About this time of year, I find myself often falling into like a spiritual funk. It's cold outside. The sun doesn't come out much. It seems like it gets dark so early and maybe you can relate. You find yourself in that midwinter slump where you just don't understand why you're kind of bummed out all the time. I talk to people a lot who find themselves in this spiritual funk and I want to share with you some thoughts about it today. Now, let me just give you full disclosure here. I'm not a licensed mental health professional. I'm not a therapist, so I'm not here to diagnose or treat anybody. I'm just here to share some thoughts that I have about what to do when you find yourself in that place where you just don't know what's wrong, but something is. How do you know the difference between just having a bad day and when you're in like that spiritual funk? Well, I think a bad day is just that. It's a bad day. You can look at something that happened in your day or you can recognize that well it started when i woke up and it'll probably be okay tomorrow we can try again whereas that spiritual funk is something that you can't really figure out when it started and it doesn't feel like there's anything that can change it it's not related to a circumstance or a situation it's just kind of a state of mind see a funk is when you have no real reason and you can't seem to shake it and it feels like it's getting progressively worse. So what should you do? Make sure that you are in a state of grace. Before you try to dig deep into your feelings and all that kind of stuff, understand this. Sometimes that funk that we're in could be the result of God trying to get our attention. So if we're living in a sinful lifestyle or if we've got mortal sin in our lives and and we aren't doing what we're supposed to be doing in, in our faith, That might not be a spiritual funk. That might be the conviction of the Holy Spirit saying, hey, it's time for you to come back to God. So let's start with this this understanding of, hey, we're in a state of grace. We're not committing mortal sin. We've gone to confession. We're receiving the Eucharist. We're we're, generally speaking, we're on the right track spiritually. If that's, that's where we need to start, my friends. So begin there because God, again, may be trying to draw you out of something. Next thing is this, stop obsessing about it so much. Sometimes people sort of forget that they're in a funk and then they remind themselves. It's like, oh wait, I started to feel good, but then wait, I can't do that because remember, I'm in a funk. If you walk around announcing that all the time to everybody and and you post about it online and you're always telling people about it and you're giving it a lot of power in your life. So maybe just sort of quit obsessing about it and stop overthinking about it. Quit talking about it, quit posting about it. Work on a healthy way to share with a few safe people in your life the issues that you're having. I'm not telling you to bottle it up inside, but if you just walk around and, and you know, that's just who you are and you're, you're just identifying with that, then that's how you're going to be. Okay. So quit obsessing about it so much. Next thing is this, get off all social media, just take a break. And I know you might be thinking, but that's where I connect with people and this and that, Hey, Connect with people in real life. Give that a try. Pick up a phone and call somebody. Go have coffee with someone. Get together with people, but get off social media. That can make the biggest difference. And it's something that we don't often do because let's face it, a lot of us are addicted to it, aren't we? That's how we begin our day. That's how we end our day. And you know, reaching for this is the same thing that people do when they reach for a a puff from a cigarette or a drink from a bottle. And it's not good for us. So. If you're in a funk, get off social media. Just give it a break for 30 days and see what happens. The next thing is this, offer up that funk in a prayer, like offer it to the Lord. Say, God, I don't know what's going on, but I offer this up to you as a sacrifice because it's suffering like anything else. It's a cross like anything else. So what should you do with your crosses? You should bear them, but then you should also offer them up. Have you done that to the Lord or are you too embarrassed to do that? Offer it to God. Say, God, I offer this, this, whatever I'm going through, I offer it to you. The next thing is this, take on a new spiritual discipline. Now I could be easily the guy that just goes, pray more, read the Bible more, do whatever you're doing just more. But sometimes you gotta shake yourself out of where you are by doing something new. A good friend of mine used to say this to me, if we always do what we've always done, we'll always be what we've always been. Now I'm not suggesting that your spiritual disciplines are the problem here. But I do think there's something to be said about trying something new as a way to shake you out of your current mindset. So if you haven't been a person who, let's say, fasts, then learn to fast, begin to fast. 
If you don't pray the Liturgy of the Hour, start that. Uh, find some new way, some new spiritual discipline that you can incorporate into your life. And because you're dealing with this with this kind of depression, I would I would recommend like a novena to uh, Saint Dymphna or to ask for Saint Dymphna's intercession because she's the patron saint of of a lot of these issues, anxiety and depression. So let's get the spiritual forces of of the saints surrounding us and asking for intercessions, okay? And she's a good one to go to. And the next thing is this, and this is one of the most important things that you can do. Help somebody else with their external struggle to help you overcome your internal struggle, okay? The scripture tells us that we are to bear each other's burdens and in so doing, we'll fulfill the law of Christ. When we get out of ourselves and we go and help another person, that's the quickest way to take our focus off of our own issues. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy, but get out of your house and go and help someone. Find a way to make your focus about solving someone else's problem. And that's gonna help you not be so obsessed with your problem. I'm telling you, it works like a charm. So get out of your head and go help another person. And I think that's gonna help you in this spiritual funk that you may find yourself. All right, and the last one is this. Change what you can and quit obsessing about what you can't. What can you change? Well, you can probably start eating better. That could be a big part of your problem. When it's winter time and we're stuck inside, we tend to just like feed ourselves and, and because we're trying to comfort ourselves or we drink too much or we're just generally unhealthy. Figure out a way that you can break through that. Change what you can. Eat better. Quit drinking. Make sure you're getting plenty of sleep. Do the things that you can instead of obsessing about the things that you can't. And I think you'll see a big difference. And again, the most important thing of all is to remember that you belong to God. So offer yourself to God. Whatever you're doing, make sure you belong to him. And hey, maybe you've got some ideas. Please let us know in the comments because hey, I, I need to be seeing this stuff too. So, and one more thing, if you are like in serious, deep, dark depression and you, you have thoughts of hurting yourself in any way, don't just watch a YouTube video from a guy like me. Get yourself to a hospital. Go find someone who can actually help you. Go and tell a doctor what you're struggling with, what you're going through so that they can make sure to help you. Okay, my friends, thanks so much. Take care and God bless.